What's going on guys? It's Immortal Jake back at it with another tutorial video. Today, we's doing Gladiator. As always, if you like the videos, leave a like, comment down below what else you like to see, subscribe, and ring that bell. Also, there's a Discord link in the description. Join the Discord. The Discord is just for, like, send memes, uh, play other games with me, whatnot. Call of Duty, Apex, For Honor, whatever. Let's get to it. All right, guys, Gladiator. I'm excited for this one. I actually like Gladiator. Um, sorry I wasn't very enthusiastic in the last video. I was very disappointed with the hero's kit. So it kind of upset me. But uh, Gladiator, let's get straight into it with his running attack. So his running attack is heavy. He'll sprint towards your enemies, press the right trigger to do a lunging, you know, Superman punch with your... Uh, with your trident very cool uh fun for initiating fights uh it is very noticeable so if you're in 1v1 don't do it <laughs> that's more for if you're joining into a game if you are going to do it in a 1v1 be sure to go ahead and follow up with that guard break because most likely they will dodge and you can guard break into a punch you're just gonna hit the guard break button as soon as you miss <laughs> and you'll follow up with that bash all right his lights are pokes with his trident. Uh, he can do a combination of four total lights in a row. Now I'm not saying to do four lights in a row. I'm saying he could do it. Now his heavies, guys. His heavies are also forward thrusts. His heavies are actually pretty fast, or they feel very fast, probably because they're just direct stabs. Aside from finishing his chain with it, he can get a double heavy. His heavies, however, don't get a quad chain. They only get two swings uh, to do them in concession. The second one is actually a swipe. Dodge attacks. So he's got dodge attacks from all directions, except for backwards, of course. When I say all directions from now on, I'm just gonna mean left, right, and forward. To do the dodge attack, you're gonna dodge forward, and press the light button to do your dodge attack. Um, he also has a dodge bash. So you can dodge forward and guard break, or dodge left and right and guard break as well. Now this bash doesn't guarantee anything. Um, but it opens up mix-up opportunities for you. So you could follow up with a heavy. And you could let it fly, which will either get blocked, parried, or it will potentially land. Otherwise, you could feint it into a guard break. Throw enough of them, and you will uh, condition your opponent to go for a parry, which will let you get a guard break. It's good for mix-up potential. Alternately, you could do his skewer. Um, now, his skewer is done, since we're on the topic of skewer by inputting the heavy button for a finisher while walking away. And a finisher, I mean the last hit of a combo. The bash is considered the first hit, the heavy is considered the last hit. So what you can do is bash, walk away, and press right trigger at the same time. So what I mean by walk away, left stick down, right trigger, and it will do the skewer. So bash, skewer. Pretty simple. Now, a skewer can be done out of any chain as long as it's the finisher. Just keep it in mind, it's his can opener. Okay, guys? It can be done after a light or any of the lights following. So, keep it in mind, it is a very important tool and it can also be fainted. You want to do that and you go into a guard break whenever you do faint it. <laughs> it will catch people. Very useful tool. Now the skewer actually has bleed properties after you, the longer you hold it in there, the more bleed that stacks with him. It's actually a really good weapon. Your deflex go into this as well. If you manage to skewer an enemy against the wall, you can smack them like that with the guard break button. It's very good for blinding your opponent and potentially getting another guard break because when you're blind, it's a lot harder to tell what your opponent's doing, whether they're throwing an unblockable or going for a guard break. It, it makes it a lot harder to read when when the stun animation takes effect on the characters. A little smack in the face. Definitely a fun tool for him. Alternatively, if you do land it near a wall, but not quite at a wall, you can throw them and get a heavy for free. The direction is obviously controlled by your left stick and press guard break after you skewer them. So you skewer, guard break after to throw them, and then you can throw another heavy right after. So guaranteed. This hero not only looks amazing, but very fun to play with. Alternative, alternatively, <laughs> you could side bash into the heavy and then toe stab. So you can bash, heavy, toe stab. Toe stab is another attack we'll talk about now. Do the toe stab is the same as doing the skewer, 
So instead of pressing the right trigger though and walking backwards, you're gonna press the guard break while walking backwards. Toe tap can be done from any any attack in the middle of your chains. You can throw it. Um, you can throw it out just raw like that and bait them to like go for a dodge. You could also faint your unblockable skewer into the toe stab. So what you'll do is you'll act like you're gonna do that, faint it, and then toe stab. So faint, toe stab. And that will actually catch a lot of people who go to dodge it because you'll stab their toe as they go to dodge it. It's, it's fun, very fun to do. Not only that, but when your opponent's out of stamina, if you do a toe stab, it actually downs them, which guarantees a heavy. Now that we've gone way past it, let's talk about his zone. <laughs> His zone is a two hit combo. The first hit doesn't do damage, but it guarantees the second. So the first one is actually a bash. A bash, and then you get a 14 damage swing. And the bash will guarantee that if you miss the bash on the zone, you can faint it by pressing your faint button. So you can go into a guard break or a block for whatever they're doing because you missed your bash. So sometimes people will dodge and go for like a light to stop your zone or just wait for a parry and being able to cancel the zone into a guard break will actually help a lot it gives him a lot of options from missed attacks now that we've gone over his basic attacks let's go into his chains now glad's got his basic lights like i said you can do four lights in a row for his chains you can do three lights and a heavy and that heavy can actually be followed up with an unblockable skewer so the heavy normally would finish the chain if you do right but if you turn it into a skewer it it counts as a heavy as well but it doesn't it's like it's like a finisher to your finisher so you can finish her and then throw the skewer so you could actually get five hit combo with him if you use the light three times and throw a heavy and throw the skewer. He's obviously got his regular light to heavy, but that can also be ended with the skewer. So the skewer can be used as your finisher, real your real finisher. Even if you throw the heavy in the middle of your combo, throw it again. Finish it with a skewer. You're gonna almost always want to do it uh, and potentially mix up your opponent into guard breaks or potentially into the toe stab, like I said earlier. It's what you're gonna do with him. It's, it's, it's his bread and butter for this character. Now on top of the regular heavies, you can go into your finisher, into your finisher skewer, into your zone. This is something that I don't see a lot of people do, but it's there and it actually works quite a lot. They'll they'll be more concerned about the skewer than they actually are of the following bash through. So that, it will hit quite a lot. Keep it in mind, it's actually a very useful tool to break through an opponent's uh, guard. Now your bash being combined into your heavy finisher, into your skewer, will be your main focus when you do throw the bash. But don't forget you can faint into the guard break. You can faint it into a zone. Uh, you can faint it into a toe stab. He has options that go with his bash, so even if your heavy is not truly guaranteed, the mix-ups are there and viable choices. A good player will wait and try and read them, but an even better Glad will be able to mix it up still. His dodge attacks also go into the skewer, so you can <laughs> dodge attack into the skewer, into a throw, into another heavy, whatever, if they hit a wall. But basically, your skewer is going to be the end of your combos, almost always. And depending on how well you decide, or how well you practice, fainting it into a guard break, fainting it into his zone, fainting it into a toe stab, or actually letting it fly. There's like four different options for it. Depending on how much you practice it will determine how well you do with Gladiator. Because the skewer is a very powerful tool that you're going to need to master for this character, okay? If you don't have the mix-ups, you don't have the gladiator, okay? A good gladiator is gonna be a mix-up king, all right? You need to make sure you have the ability to faint your attacks and cancel into other ones because he's got so many different options for it. If you can manage that, you'll be solid. All right, guys, punish time. Now, when you land the guard break, you're going to give him a heavy. It doesn't matter which way you throw the heavy, but the heavy will be guaranteed, okay? They all do the same amount of damage, so just throw the heavy. Same goes for light parries. Uh, you just get a heavy. Doesn't matter which way you decide to throw it. Uh, 
just throw the heavy. Now on heavy attack, you only get light. You could also do a zone and you will actually get more damage from the zone. Two more damage, yeah. It's not really that much. He has a third option on parry. He can actually follow up with a guard break for a stun that will blind your opponents and also drain stamina. So if your opponent, if you notice, he's gone through a whole mix up, he's very low and you land that parry, you might consider hitting the bash because that'll take a big chunk and could potentially throw him out of stamina, which will open him up for your toe stab uh yeah i would suggest trying to do the bash when the opponent is low if you land that parry okay gladiator has deflex guys now on deflect you're gonna throw a heavy for that skewer okay when you see the heavy coming go ahead and get that skewer off very fun character oh my god very fun character when you're out of stamina if you land a light parry, you get a light. If you land a guard break, you get a light. If you land a heavy parry, just back off. Those are guaranteed punishes universally. Now when your opponent's out of stamina, on guard break, you get a light into heavy. Light into heavy, okay? On parry, you get a heavy into heavy. Both of these can be followed up with your toe stab, right? So you can throw your heavy, heavy, and then toe stab. Potentially get a free another 10 damage off on them. Some characters will be ready and ready to dodge. Or alternately, you could uh, go for the skewer right after the second heavy. And potentially get another big damage off on them. Now, this is just for the parry and the guard break, okay? On toe stab, he actually gets a heavy which can be followed up with another skewer or another toe stab <laughs> the toe stab is only 10 more damage but the potential for the skewer being there is very tempting to go for don't forget you can bait it out you can also faint it after your toe stab follow up and guard break also also if you land skewer when they're out of stamina this will guarantee two heavies same as a parry keep in mind you need to faint some of these if you want to get another punish off on them because you know they're not guaranteed skewers at the end of these combos if you're really good and you want to be a bully to someone i've done it a few times um when they're out of stamina if you bait out an attack and you manage to get them to you know go for the parry and then throw them and then throw your double heavy um but like i said that's if you're trying to be an ass <laughs> now guys that's pretty much everything about gladiator aside from like his feats and stuff but uh, you can read those in his description i guess let's see him in some gameplay all right guys we've got a centurion today looks beefy oh boy hello whiskey oh. Fight. Good fight. Good first match. I feel like I've fought this guy before. Whiskey Uwu. Whiskey Uwu, what's up? Shout out to Whiskey Boys. <laughs> what's that? Nice. Oh god. Too nice. Too nice. <laughs> oh, that didn't hit him. Ooh. Paste me up, boys. Paste me up. All right, all right. Now we got to watch out for the the master the master fainter. <laughs> Guard break. Give me the parry. Ooh, nice parry back. Ooh. 
God, that was scary. <laughs> I felt like he was gonna faint it, so I just threw the light. Whiskey! Oh, sorry. I forgot you guys were here. Here it comes. Again with that perfectly timed dodge. My God, I cannot believe! <laughs> I cannot believe that a stamina like no, <laughs> no, 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 no way! <laughs> oh shit, GGs! <laughs> I know there was some of you in my comments talking shit about my fashion, but I'm not very high rep to do much about it. Okay? Get over it. All right, guys, we got a high lander. <laughs> this should be painful. I mean, fun. How you doing? No honor? No honor, okay. God damn, son. God damn, like I said, painful. <laughs> I mean fun, of course. All right guys, Red Bull, hopefully it gives me some wings. That light didn't hit, I guess, huh? Got him, got him. Little pokey poke right there. I had to hit him with. I had to poke him with my stick. Stab it. Stab it. I. Sorry. I mean, <laughs> what the? Um, he was already dead, right? Can we, can we just let that one go? He was already dead. You think I was gonna let him come back? How dare you! Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> stop. Shit. Oh shit! <laughs> That's what I get, right? <laughs> oh, he's got that dark aura, guys. We're done. I can feel it. Let it fly. Give me that heavy. He's still alive. Oh, he died right before his heavy landed. <laughs> Damn. Oh, look, look, it's metal. Oh, it's metal one. Let's go with the metal one. Shiny. Like, imagine getting punched by that thing. Realistically, like, he has full force with that because it's not too heavy of a shield. So that's his full strength and his punch. Can't be nice. 
Okay, guys, we got another Centurion, uh, Witkill. Homies rep 95, so this is gonna be a challenge. Okay, he's just learning my move set. Trust me, he's downloading it right now. He's over here, like calculating. Yalla! Let it fly! Eh. No! Oh, he bled out. I didn't realize his whole health was gone. Good fight. Oh shit, I did not mean to say thanks. I was literally... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Accident. Okay. No! Delay that a little bit, huh? Yep, just delay it a little bit. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, bro. I, I literally did not mean to do that. I was like pressing X to freaking guard break, like out of. Sorry. Anyway, guys, I feel like I should get off now. That was some disrespectful shit I did by accident. I don't ever say thanks after a fight. It's rude. All right. It, that was an accident. Anyways, if you liked the video, leave a like, comment down below. What else you'd like to see, of course, uh, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications when I go live or whatever. My videos, whatnot. Um, also, in the description, the link to the Discord is there. Join the Discord. Uh, send memes, whatever the fuck you want to do in there. Honestly, I'm in there. So you guys can play with me. Uh, we could play for honor. We could play Apex. We could play Call of Duty. I don't care. It's just just for us to fuck around, you know, and find out, I guess, you know. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.